The following program may contain subject matter and language suitable for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. So, we just had uh, a massive tornado. Actually, they say two tornadoes in a microburst. Yeah. Over the Dunrobin, uh, Ottawa, Gatineau areas, and we we were both without power. I was only without power for about twenty, maybe I don't know. Was it uh, twenty two hours, and you were out for about fifty five. Fifty five. Yeah. Yeah, because, and again, I use the analogy, if you're prepared, if you're going to a cottage or whatever that's isolated, you know, you're prepared for that, and that's not a shock. We here at The Meltdown just want to send a shout out to all of you who were affected by uh, those tornadoes and power outages and everything else. Uh, anyway, we have a show to do, so let's, let's get to it. Yes, yeah, uh, This is The Meltdown, Season 5, Episode 3, and Mark. Welcome back to another episode of The Meltdown. My name is Norm. And my name is Jeff. And uh, today we are talking about procrastination. Uh, you know, it's funny, funny, you know, story, Jeff, but, you know, we, we actually planned on doing this show back in season two, but we just kept putting it off. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, uh, yes. We're like, yeah, later, Jeff, later, later. <laughs> Jeff, riddle me this. Where do I come up with this stuff? I mean, I don't know. it's you're gold. A, you're a funny guy. It's gold, Jeff. <laughs> Yes. Uh, now the depths of your humor are limitless. <laughs> the depths of my humor. Yes. Yes. There's at least one layer yeah. that that we that we know of. Uh, today we've got a lot to get to because we're going to be talking about the uh, seven. There are seven facts, seven interesting facts about mm -hmm. procrastinators yeah. uh, that we've got uh, Lou Saracino in with a meltdown minute with Lou, and mm -hmm. then uh, we've got fifty. Okay, five zero, mm. 50 common things people procrastinate about oh. uh, for our stupid stupidness. So we really have no time. We need to get to this now. We can't keep putting it off. Really? We can't put it off for like two minutes? Okay. Well, you know, maybe maybe <laughs> one minute. All right, just, let's you know, just sit here and put yeah, it off. Yeah, just... Okay. You know what? You're right. It's good not to procrastinate. It's good to move forward. Yeah. I was actually, I'm, I'm enjoying this procrastination yeah. right now. Yeah. Maybe let's get Taking some a bit of a breather. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? I'm just going to uh, leave the old warehouse and maybe drive around and not do anything and then come back to the warehouse and maybe we can start. Well, I'll have the show done by then. <laughs> but I, I, lucky for you, I have a cardboard cutout of you that I could just oh, put in this seat. That's, and, that's not uh, good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> you should see what I do with it. Yeah, at that's, that's going to be a lot, of, a lot of my future acting days are going to be the cardboard cutout. Yeah. Jeff, I've got an audition for you. Actually, yeah. it's your cardboard cutout, but he just needs to show up. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah. All right, enough of this tomfoolery. <laughs> Let's go to some Meltdown Fun Facts. All right, so we've got today seven interesting facts about procrastination. Fact number one, according to some researchers, procrastination has more than quadrupled in the last 30 years. There is at this point in time no known reason as to the cause of this upward trend. Mm. So that's, uh, I don't know, it's something. Yeah. So they know, you know, I mean, nobody really knows why people procrastinate. You know, it's, I, th I think they've, they kind of narrow it down to fear of something, right? Yeah. So, uh, here we go. Here's fact number two. Procrastination is often viewed as a lifestyle, whether by choice or not, largely because the behaviors take over all aspects of the individual's life. Put simply, procrastinators do not usually notice any negative consequences of performing tasks at the last minute, and this is likely why they continue to keep up their procrastination habits. Yeah, I, I um, am around a lot of last minute people. Are you? Um, yeah, and I just wish they would, you know, start earlier. <laughs> yeah. And that's pretty obvious, but you know, yeah. 
Okay, here's another fact. It's a common misconception that procrastination is due to a problem with managing time, when in fact, it's a much more complex issue. People who procrastinate don't do it because they underestimate how long a task will take. Instead, they are overly optimistic about their ability to get the job done. Hmm. It kind of makes sense, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it'll, it'll happen. No, yeah. no problem. I'll get yeah, it done. I'll, I'll get yeah. it done. Yeah, I only, I only have one people, more minute. Some people really perform better under pressure yeah. at the last minute, right? Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, here's another fact. Procrastination has been linked to higher levels of consumption of alcohol among those who drink. Mm. So there you go. Yeah, you, you drink your alcohol instead of doing the project. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I'll get to that. Just uh, <laughs> let me have a belt first. Uh, another fact. One out of five people admit that their procrastination has gotten so out of hand that they have jeopardized their jobs, credit, relationships, and even their health. Mm. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I think, yeah, your mental health, because you're, you're last minute, you know, you're causing yourself stress. And now we've talked about how people, you know, mm -hmm. thrive under this stress, I suppose. Yeah. But I can see that mentally it would wear on you. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, another fact, research has shown that procrastinators often have a weakened immune system, meaning that they are more prone to develop gastrointestinal problems and suffer from colds as well as flu more frequently. Additionally, Procrastinators are more likely to experience sleep disorders such as insomnia. And actually, you know, it's interesting. If, uh, I've, there have been times when I I know that okay, I need to to get these things done tomorrow. Like mm -hmm. I've got that in my brain, and I'm lying in bed, and I keep thinking, I got to get that done. I can't forget about that. I can't forget about that. I can't put that off again. I got to get that done. Yeah. And what I found helps if any of you have this issue is uh, even right then, if you're in bed and you can't sleep because of these things, get up, uh, get your phone. If you have a, you know, an alarm, you know, whatever, put it in your calendar, put it in your notes, do something so that you write it down, get a piece of paper if you have to, write down, get this done today. Mm -hmm. And I swear you will go back to bed and you'll fall asleep because now you've, you've put it somewhere to remind you tomorrow. Yeah. I think the worst thing about, about not being able to sleep in that situation is that your brain won't stop telling you, you need to get this done. And until you actually write it down somewhere, you're screwed. Yeah, making a list of things to do is will, will help you. You know, oh, 100%. You know, I've got to do this, 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 and this, yeah. and there it is. It's right in front of you. It's on your phone or just a piece of paper. Yep. It's there, and I think that that helps motivate you to, to actually well, get yeah, those things done. Because you know you can go to sleep and get up, and you'll see the list in the yeah. morning. Yeah. All right. And our last fact, there are three different mm. varieties of procrastination. Mm. Mm -hmm. One, arousal type, who wait until the last minute to complete something for the euphoric rush. Two, avoiders who may be avoiding fear of failure or even fear of success. And three, decisional type who find it highly difficult to make a decision. So there you go. Three types of procrastinators. Mm. You know? It, it's interesting. Uh, I think too that if you set yourself uh, a deadline, now maybe there is a deadline that does exist already that somebody else has put there. Yeah. That may cause you to obviously get this project done or whatever it happens to be. Right. Um, and sometimes you have to put a, put on a self-imposed deadline. And there's one friend of mine who is an actor, uh, lots, lots of friends who are actors mm. and she was writing this one woman show and she realized that for her to complete writing the play, to finish writing the play, she needed a deadline. In other words, what she did was she submitted uh, an application to I think every fringe show across Canada, okay, every yeah. fringe festival across Canada. And she happened to win the fringe lottery for Winnipeg. And now she had this deadline. The show was whenever it was. And now she said, oh, now I've got to finish this play. <laughs> yeah. And she yeah. did. You know what I mean? So if you, yeah. so sometimes you got to put these own deadlines on. But if it's yeah. a self-imposed deadline, that can help you not procrastinate. That's true. That's very true. Wise, wise words from Jeff this morning. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so that, that was our fun facts. Uh, hope you learned something. I sure did. Oh, yes. And uh, now let's, uh, let's go to Lou Saracino in a Meltdown Minute with Lou. Now, this might be a weird topic to talk about, but you know what? I'm going to be honest. This is something that I have done my whole life. I started when I was 12. I, I would stay home from school, as a matter of fact, and do it all day. I did it so much, folks, one of my arms got larger than the other arm. I had like one Popeye arm. And I'd walk around going, skittle da It's procrastination. Yeah, procrastination is bad. You shouldn't, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't wait to do stuff because, well, one, I'd never masturbate. If that was if that was the case 
But also, I, uh, you know, I have a friend, like, for, for example, because I'm not good. I try to get stuff done when I can, but I'm a little bit lazy. You know what I mean? And uh, this one time, a friend of mine called me, like, a couple of days ago, as a matter of fact, and he was in a Mexican jail. And he's like, look, man, you got to bail me out. I really need some help. Things are not going well. Can... Oh, shit, I got, I got to make a call. Thanks very much, Lou. And now for some Meltdown Stupid Stupidness. <laughs> Okay, so here we have 50 common things we procrastinate about, and uh, we're going to race through these, so if you, know, if you have any comments, just shoot them in after, but 50, Jeff, so we don't have all day. I think maybe I'll keep my mouth shut and uh, just right. listen. And just nod your head and go, oh, that's interesting. Okay, here we go. 50 things people procrastinate about. Number one, going to the doctor for a checkup. Mm. Two, calling your family and friends to see how they're doing. Three, paying your monthly bills now so you don't have to worry about them later. Four, updating your resume and searching for a job. Five, answering your emails. Six, starting that hobby you always wanted to try. Seven, cutting out junk food we know is bad but mm. continue eating anyway. Eight, leaving for work or school on time. Nine, doing your homework now so you can relax later. 10. Asking that guy or girl out on a date. Oh. 11. Cleaning up the house. I suffer from that. <laughs> 12. Donating to that charity you always wanted to. 13. Planning a vacation to a new country. 14. Finally going to the gym and working out. 15. Getting car maintenance done. 16. Reading that book your friend recommended you last year. <laughs> 17, telling someone a secret you've been hiding from them. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, me personally, I, <laughs> I keep no secrets, so. Yeah, I let it all out, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 18, going back to college. 19, apologizing to someone after you've hurt them. Yeah, I've done that. <laughs> uh, 20, telling someone you love them. I love you, Jeff. No, I love you, too, Norm. Yeah. See, we didn't procrastinate on that one. No, even if we don't mean it. That's right. Just kidding. It was a lack of sincerity or maybe not. It's a respect love. It's not yeah. a... And I don't, you know, I don't have a cardboard cut out of you and I don't <laughs> do things at night when you're not here uh, with your cardboard yeah. cut out. Okay. That's good. That I don't have. <laughs> so, but again, if you did, yeah, you wouldn't yeah. be doing now it. Now I'm procrastinating. I'm not getting back to this list and we have uh, 30 more to go. So okay. here we go. 21, creating something artistic and sharing it with others. 22, waiting for that perfect moment to start your own business. 23, doing laundry. 24, cleaning the dishes. 25, spending more time with your kids. 26, starting to take small steps toward the life of your dreams. 27, going to a concert or a sporting event. 28, learning how to speak a foreign language. 29, taking a week off from work. Although I, I don't think anybody would procrastinate about that. <laughs> I really don't. I think I Actually, no, I, I, I tend to only take time off from work when, I, when I'm working on a show and a play or a movie. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah so so. I, I actually, that, that's actually quite valid. Yeah. There are people like me who can't just take vacation. I can't. Yeah. So yeah. I get that. I get what they're saying there. Okay. Uh, 30, running in a marathon. 31, writing that book you always wanted to write. 32, volunteering at a local community center. 33, selling old stuff around the house you don't use anymore. Oh my God, <laughs> I could so do that. 34, letting go of a mistake you made a long time ago. Uh, 35, asking for something because you're afraid the answer will be no. Boy, that's, that's uh, I'm sure we can all attest to having mm -hmm. had that experience. The fear of rejection. Yep. Whether it's romantic or otherwise. Or otherwise, yeah. yeah. Uh, 36, studying for an exam. 37, getting to bed at a reasonable hour. Uh, 38, having children. 39, helping a friend with something they asked you to help them with. Number 40, quitting smoking. 41, getting married. 42, shopping for groceries. 43, putting out the garbage. I'm very good at that. I uh, always remind my wife on Wednesday nights, uh, oh, by the way, did you know it's garbage day tomorrow? <laughs> and it really it pisses her off to no end because yeah. she doesn't care because I do the garbage. I collect it all around the house. Mm -hmm. I sort it. I put yeah. it out in the morning or whatever. 
but I always find a new and different way of saying it's garbage day so <laughs> that when she, when I finally tell her, like, I'll say, oh, crap, I forgot to tell you something. And she'll go, what? And I'll say, it was garbage day tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, she hates that. Uh, so if you're watching, sorry, but <laughs> I'm probably going to keep doing it and finding new and better ways to, uh, to tell you it's garbage day tomorrow. Okay, uh, where were we? What did I say last? Garbage, because we were talking about garbage. There you go. Uh, number 44, buying new clothes. 45, getting a place of your own. 46, saving for retirement. Don't know if that's procrastination or just the inability to do that nowadays. <laughs> uh, 47, breaking off from a relationship you know isn't going to work. 48, trying new recipes. 49, getting a haircut. Can I just say I <laughs> did mine just the other day? Mm -hmm. And number 50 uh, of the things that people procrastinate about, doing something just for the fun of it. Mm. When's the last time you did something just for the fun of it? Just, just for the hell of it, Jeff? Oh, I do that all the time. <laughs> like this show? I mean, yeah. you, know, <laughs> you know, we're doing this show just for the yeah. hell of it. But anyway, so next week, okay, yes. so next <laughs> week, um, we are going to be looking into uh, some paranormal mm. activities. So we are going to be looking at uh, some interesting yeah. factual, when I say factual, people wrote out, uh, you know, their experiences. We're going to be looking mm. at a bunch of those, see if, see if you can get a, chill running up your spine when yeah. we read those Oof. and then for our uh, stupidness of course we're going to be looking at some really <laughs> bizarre uh, possibly very stupid uh ghost stories mm -hmm. uh that anyway uh and of course lou will be here and i'm sure he's going to have something interesting to say about mm -hmm. the supernatural world so until then uh thank you for joining us and we will see you next week bye <laughs>